What is up guys, my name is Jordan, today we're back, I'm making a brand new video, but today we have a special video, um, thank you for Jack Stop the guy for giving me the idea for this one, and giving this game a try, um, we're gonna build ourselves a PC, guys, uh, supposedly this game's like on, a uh, pretty well new release game, uh, it's like a simulation of you building a computer, and it can actually help, you know, how to build a computer, like, I, I build my own, and it's actually the funniest thing in the world, like, it may be complicated for a few people, but personally, like, I feel like, like, Maybe you're the first person to build a computer, but once you like, once you like finish the computer, like if it, it, it's just a satisfaction that like you have that like wow, like I built that, like that's what I did when I built my computer, and God, I was like God, I love it. But building a PC is actually the funniest thing in the world. Like I, I, I love building it. I love literally just having it all form. But the problem building, like the thing is, like having it Windows. Windows takes forever to load up, but um. Today we're gonna build our own PC. We have a $2,000 budget, as you can tell. Uh, I'm not really sure like what uh, I should do or press. Uh, there's like an options uh, screen resolution. What is this? We're gonna go 1080p. What the hell are we doing? Uh, yeah, 1080p. Let's apply that. Or not. Okay, we'll apply that. Uh, whatever. I guess not. Um, let's increase our massivity a little bit. So, uh, where is the coin order? Uh, there's no like place we can buy our parts. We press E, so let's see all the items. We have the Asus uh, PP67 motherboard, a GTX 768. What? Why do we have a 680? What the hell? We're not. We're in 1962. Uh, we're, I guess we're gonna purchase this motherboard and that. Uh, that's literally the only graphics card they have. So we're just gonna order all of this. Why not? Sheesh. Um. So yeah, let's order that and then let's start building. Uh, do I press anything to start building? Q, E, R, F, G, Q. Enter. Shift. I don't know what to press. How do I start building this shit? Change project. How do I start building? Where's my parts? Oh. I. Oh, here we go. I right, press I for in our inventory. So, um, personally, there's like a lot of people have their own ways of how where to start off to build a computer and stuff like that. Personally, my way of doing it um, is literally putting in the motherboard, uh, putting the motherboard, and actually, well, applying, well, separating the motherboard from everything else. Get the CPU, install the CPU, install the CPU cooler, etc. So, first things first, we're gonna start off with the motherboard because obviously, can we can't lay our, we don't have any like anywhere. To build our motherboard and then putting it into the case, but I start off with the own motherboard so far. So literally, there's not a lot of options for a lot of like components and stuff, but there are some parts that we can use and uh, some stuff that we can definitely apply. So let's install the motherboard here. Oh, this motherboard is similar like mine. So if you guys don't know what a motherboard is or really don't know what more about PC parts, um, so far, um, this these little blue design things are pretty much the like heat spreaders. So it catches the heat for your motherboard, so don't like you know overheat and stuff like that. Um, we have the RAM slots here. We have like a, we can do a dual channel, we can go do quad channel. Uh, this one right here it is the 24 pin connector, which powers up your motherboard. Uh, here we go your SATA ports. Um, this is like all the HD audio. Um, what else? Um, you know, hard, uh, power supply, whatever. Uh, like little small pins. Um, we have our uh, PCIe Express ports, which we can put our graphics card. It seems like we can do three graphics cards that we god like. But um, if you guys don't know what well, you can do three, you can do actually port as much as you want. But it depends on how much your motherboard can support it. Uh, I usually have one, so it's uh, whatever. Uh, this is a uh, PCI, PCXE, whatever. It's like where you can put your like smaller things like the game capture HD, Elgato HD60 Pro. You actually put it in here, but we can we can do three graphics cards. We, we might do that. We actually, we don't even have the budget for that. Um, this thing right here is to power up your CPU, and here is where your brain will go through. This is where the CPU uh, will literally will be, and it powers up everything. Uh, but yeah, uh, looking pretty nice. How much? HP? Yeah, we this is like this is literally similar to, like uh, my Asus motherboard that I have. Um, yeah, what else do we put? All right, so let's put on a. A dummy CPU. Uh, wait. Uh, do I like... Oh, there we go. Oh. Look at that. So, yeah, there, there here is the hard part. Well, I want... It's not the hard part. It's actually the most simple. Like, everything is simple to put on. But it is a delicate part. Like, if you screw up, 
you screw up. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, um, when you install a CPU, like, it's, I'm kind of teaching you how to build a computer, but on a simulation. But, uh, but just saying, if you guys don't know pretty much how to build a computer, there's a bunch of tutorials out there. But this one, if you want to build a CPU, you have to have to, like, uh, make sure that, like, the pins on the, underneath the CPU is, like, very delicate. So, like, one pin, you screw up your computer, like, CPU. They're, like, super expensive. So, like, <laughs> if I break a CPU when I'm building a computer, God forbid that never happens. Like, God, it's, it's going to be a really horrible day for me. But, um... But yeah, like you have to line up the, the triangle, and so far it's good for us. Uh, I think it's like an Intel CPU. I'm not really sure, but um, I can't really read it. But uh, yeah, so this is this is how pretty much this on the CPU, like uh, making sure that everything's going fine, and then just mash the hatch down, and this is where everything goes. So like this is where the pressure will go in. Like it, it does feel pressure when you put it down, but like man, if if there's a lot of pressure, I mean, don't be afraid to do it, but just like. It's gonna break if you put it in wrong. So that there, there you go. Um, now uh, I want to install the C, uh, the CPU uh, the cooling CPU cooler. So we have a simple fan. No. Oh no 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 no! I don't want that. I want the CPU fan. So where is the CPU fan? Uh, cooling. Oh, we have a stock cooler. Should I apply thermal compound even though stock coolers don't usually bring one? Do I have any of that? Uh, do I have any? Oh, thermal paste. Let me apply some thermal paste. Oh, it's already applied for it. So, let's go straight to the cooling. Stock coolers usually bring thermal paste already in applied. So, like, you really don't really need to apply thermal paste. But the thermal paste for third-party coolers are usually meant for that. So, let's install this. Wow, it's an ugly Intel socket. I don't like stock coolers because, well... I'm not saying I don't like them, but, like, the one I used to have, it was the stock AMD FX cooler. It was awful. It cooled my computer, don't get me wrong. It did a really good, fi a fine job doing it. But, man, oh, man, it sounded like a jet engine. I'm not even kidding. Like, it, were, it was spent up to 5,000 to 6,000 RPMs. It was, I'm not, I'm not joking. I am not joking. But, uh, yeah, cooler's fine. Uh, next, we want to build in our RAM slots, which is, we have the HyperX DDR3 RAM, which is pretty old school so they, according to my motherboard I can't oh yeah I forgot got stuff do this do that so according to our motherboard I don't know how much we have so we're gonna go it's, this is dual channel depending on your motherboard guys um uh, depending on the mother your motherboard uh, you always want to like make sure which one is the first channel and the second channel like uh, some other boards will usually show this would be the first channel and this will be the second channel you can't put both of them together like that if you only have two. But if you have four, it doesn't really matter. But like if you have two, make sure that they're one is dual channel, one is like you know what you know what I mean. But um but yeah, so far we can only we can do four. Can we do four? But on my motherboard, this is the second first channel, this is the second channel that allows us to have dual channel. So we're gonna do that. You know what? Fuck it, we're gonna go four. We're gonna go all out. We're gonna go literally all out. Boom, there you go. This motherboard snaps on. That's literally the easiest part. Literally, it only goes one way, so, like, there you go. It's the easiest part. Um, I wonder if we have to... Do we, like... Yeah, we have to cable this part, right? We have to cable this? Ah, maybe not. Um, yeah, I think our motherboard is pretty much set. Everything that we need to put on the motherboard is so far in there. With CPU and RAM power. Um, let's, uh, let's take this off. Let's take that first one off. Oh, there we go. Uh, what else do we need? What else do you want to put? Let's put in a simple fan. We're gonna put it right there. Can I crouch? How do I crouch? I know there's a fan. I know we can put a fan up here. Oh shit. Uh. No fan. Can't put a fan. Oh, is that? Do I remove something? How do I jump up? Is there a way I can jump up? God dang it. Why do I need to put a fan down there? Why is that an option? Can I put one up here? I don't have a radiator, so I really can't. Well, we have one fan, guys. One fan. Usually, they'll have one here, but I can't remove it for some reason. How do I... Can I get up here at this table? Can I get up... Is there any extra, like, a tools or anything do I need here? What the type of technology do... What the hell is this? the hell is this there's mad other computers here get, get. 
Is there anything else I can have? Whatever. Um, I guess I can't put a fan up here, can I? No, well, guess not. One fan it is. That is awful. You, you want some, we need some good cooling here. Um. Well, uh, let's go straight off. But let's put the power supply in, because so far we have everything going. Um, uh, usually, the good thing about my case, let's just say, the good thing about my case, I have the SG NZXT S340 case. Absolutely a beautiful case. A beautiful case. I have two fans. Ooh, I can zoom in on this. Oh, oh, that's nice. That is nice. And I can I can apply that. Can I remove that? How do I remove that? Ah, right, whatever. So, uh, the good thing about my case that I have, um, I have lots of room. So, it keeps cable management really clean. I have, I, I mean, I like my cable management. It's very good. Um, but so far, um, I have two fans. One up here, one up here. And I can fit. Any size uh, radiator on the side here on the top. So far, I really I don't think I can remove this. If I can, I'll be pretty nice. But so far, it looks like I can't. I re definitely would love to put a radiator here, put a liquid cooling. But I have an air cooler. But uh, the good thing about my case, when it like like when I probably do cable management and putting the power supply, this thing's blocked off. So I don't so I don't see the power supply and it's windowed here, like windowed here. So I don't really like, get to see it. But I don't know. I I, I want to say I'm a fan of like uh like power. I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of power supplies being shown off the window. It depends of the case and the components. But like uh, I don't know. I li I like how it's covered here and stuff. So I don't have to see my power supply and the nasty cables in this section. So we're just gonna we're just gonna grab our power supply, which is I don't have no idea what standoffs. Install a stand, hover your mouse over the highlighted slots, and then press the left mouse. To, 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 you, can, you can press T to toggle this window and Q the tutorial. Wait, what? I can put standoffs in this? Well, standoff goes there. So let's, uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I screw up? Oh, that's how HyperX. Oh, did I screw up in a way? Like I think I screwed up. I think I definitely screwed up. I didn't apply the the standoffs. Oh well. I mean it's it's, it's there. I'm guessing is working. So like yeah, there you go. I mean that's like, I guess I have a floating motherboard. Well, that's fine. Um, let's apply our. Uh, our, uh, what's it called? Our power supply. God, I can't speak today. I can't. Uh, IO shield. Is that, isn't that our IO shield? Oh my. We don't have an IO shield. I skipped a lot of parts. I skipped a lot of things, to be honest. But so far it's working. Well, let's, where's our power supply? Let's grab our power supply, our PSU. It's only 500 watts. Oh no, I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good. All right, well, I mean, it's decent. It's decent. But uh, I want to I wanna do triple cards. I mean, two cards. Two cards, because I don't think we can fit a third one. Um, let's go our uh, our memory. I don't know memory. Uh, our graphics card. We have a 680. A fucking 680. Wow, look how f wide that thing is huge. Can I go a second card? Holy shit, that shit's huge. Wow. Wow, all right, well... We have a 680. We have SLI 680s. It's a pretty old card. I have a 750, but I can't complain. But like, wow, this is a pretty old card. I guess we're done. This, I mean, those are the main components you need to do on a PC. Um, now we got to apply our storage. We have, only have a hard drive. Let's let's just let's go on out of hard drives right now. We got we have two terabytes. One terabyte. We have four terabytes here. So can we apply more? We can't go more. That sucks. Uh, what else can we do? Um, we have our storage. We don't have any SSDs. That sucks. Uh, but so far, this everything else is there. We have everything. I mean, should we add a uh, driver covers? Um, do we have? A, should we install a DVD drive? I mean, personally, I don't. I only use one DVD drive to do some like uh, uh, what's it called? Some of like installing some drivers, but. Normally nowadays cases usually don't bring any like things to actually have a DVD drive. But like I don't say you can't use one, 
makes it easier for installing Windows, but like everyone doesn't usually use a DVD drive. They usually install Windows on a USB flash drive. But you know what? In the case of this video, let's actually use one. Do we have one at all? Do we at all? Uh, here we go. DVD drive. Now install G. No, I don't. I okay, up. Oh, I just wasted money on one. Well, I guess this is. I guess it's done. I guess we're done. I mean, there's no other. There's no way of it. Of, of. I didn't install the I/O shield, so our motherboard has no I/O shield. Is, are we done? I mean, this is the back of the computer, which is our standoffs. Or, uh, well, I don't know. Get, wait, all right, do we have to do any cable management? Like, do we do any cables at all? I mean, it doesn't seem like we need to. Right here, we have the I saw our SATAs. So far, we have no. We have no uh, cables to install this shit with, so I guess we're we're done building our computer. So we, like I said, we have a stock cooler, a 500 watt power supply, two uh, graphics cards, 680s. By the way, let's keep that in mind. Best graphics cards in the market, and uh, on SLI, four terabytes of memory, no DVD drive, and almost I don't know how many gigs of RAM we have. But so far we can't do any cable management. How do I plug this shit in? How do I turn it on? Is that it? Like is is that literally what we have? We we don't have anything else. I guess we're done. I mean, like do we, how do I turn this thing on? Like there's no power button up here. But yeah, guys, this is our PC. I don't know what PC this is. I mean, case but wherever this is shipped off to, uh, let's grab our box and ship it off. But thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. This is, we literally build a PC. If you guys want this PC, I'll definitely give it away. Just leave a like on this video if you guys want this PC. But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time on my next video. Thanks, guys.